I have two clips that I'm going to play for you here that are one very, very significant in terms of what it suggests is happening legally in Washington, D.C. right now. And two, one which is just absolutely hilarious. It's a sort of mic drop moment related to Matt Gates and his alleged uh, child sex trafficking. The videos involve an individual named Mark Short. Now, Mark Short was former Vice President Mike Pence's former chief of staff. Uh, he, we have now learned, has been um, uh, brought under subpoena and testified before a Washington, D.C. federal grand jury investigating January 6. Why is this a big deal? It's a big deal. I'm not quizzing you. I'll tell you. I, I don't ask it rhetorically. It's a big deal because as the January 6th House committee has been doing its work, we've been wondering aloud, is the Department of Justice investigating any or some or all of the things that we've learned from the January 6th committee? Or are they even seriously investigating at a higher level? Um, the events of January 6th. We know that there are hundreds of individual defendants for their personal roles on January 6th. But there's a broader question as to whether the bigger picture of the way that Trump and the people around him incited the riots is being investigated by Merrick Garland. The fact that Mark Short was under subpoena and appeared before a federal grand jury in Washington, D.C., at least suggests that the answer is yes. So the funny clip is the second one. Let's look at this first. He didn't say much, but this is a major confirmation. I can confirm that I did receive a subpoena for the federal grand jury and I complied with that subpoena. But under advice of counsel, I really can't say much more than that. But that was my only appearance before the grand jury. I'm not going to comment on what others on the team have, have had to testify or not regarding subpoenas and what they've testified to. This suggests it doesn't prove, but it certainly suggests. And what else might it mean? It's hard to think of something else. This indicates that the federal government, the Justice Department is now investigating January 6th at a bigger and higher level than simply individuals who were at the Capitol on that day. That's a major, major thing. Also, during an interview with CNN, Short was asked about Matt Gates's comments over the weekend and Short delivers an absolutely brutal takedown of Gates. The look on CNN anchor Aaron Burnett's face sort of says it all here. Check this out. Our America is proudly ultra MAGA, not some low energy roadside rhino safari. On that note, let me just say what everybody here knows. Mike Pence will never be president. <laughs> nice guy, not a leader. Mark. Well, I don't know if Mike Pence will run for president in 2024, but I don't think Matt Gates will have an impact on that. In fact, I'd be surprised if he was still voting. It's more likely he'll be in prison for child sex trafficking by 2024. And I'm actually surprised that Florida law enforcement still allows him to speak to teenage conferences like that. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about Matt Gates. Thanks. Yeah. Shocking that uh, law enforcement even allows Matt Gates against uh, around people under age 18. So listen, absolutely hilarious perfectly delivered and in all seriousness Matt Gates might get away with absolutely nothing happening to him and no consequences whatsoever for the alleged crimes that he has been involved in the the question is what the hell is taking so long i actually remember when i first learned that Matt Gates was under investigation for child sex trafficking it was march of 2021 i remember because it was my first trip sort of like in the covid era. I remember exactly where I was. I was about to go out to the beach and I glanced at my phone and saw Gates is now under investigation. And it was the night that Gates appeared on Tucker Carlson's show and gave that bizarre interview where he was like, Tucker, you've met the woman supposedly I trafficked. Remember, we went to dinner and Tucker was like, I have no memory of that whatsoever. Don't pull me into this thing. That was the start of it. That was now 16 months ago, 16 months ago. So is it is it uh, unusual that it can take this long for investigations to be done. No, it's not unusual. Is it starting to get to the point where it's reasonable to wonder what's going on? And are they even going to charge Gates with anything? Yes, it is getting to that point. So good for Mark Short for just saying what we're all thinking. How is this guy even still around uh, allowed around young girls? But absolutely well delivered and it's all great and everything. But it is not obvious to me whatsoever that there are actually going to be any consequences for Matt Gates. And of course, 
These are alleged things that he did. If the evidence doesn't show that he did them, then he should not be charged. We this is not a show where I demand people be charged for things they didn't do. What we're aware of is that Matt Gates, alleged co-conspirator, um, certainly has acknowledged doing a whole bunch of the stuff that he and Gates are accused of. And so now it starts to stretch our credulity when we say, well, so the other guy did all this stuff and he's admitting it. But we're supposed to believe Gates actually wasn't involved in it when there's that it's abundantly clear that they know each other and that they were involved in this stuff together it starts to get hard to believe. But we will follow it and hopefully Mark Short is correct.